All right, guys, this will be a supplement for both the Ionic Bond Gizmo and the Covalent Bond Gizmo. So if you are stuck on one of the parts of either of these gizmos, go ahead and check this video out. And hopefully it'll help you move along a little bit. All right. So just a quick review. Remember that an ionic bond is going to show me the bond between a metal atom and a non-metal atom. So that's the first thing we'll look at here. We have a couple different metals to choose from between lithium, beryllium, sodium, magnesium, and aluminum. And then we also have some non-metals to choose from. We have nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, phosphorus, sulfur, and chlorine. Okay. Some other boxes I already have checked here. I can look at the formula. I can look at the completed compound and it will show me the charge. Okay. So let me reset this here can pause it so that those atoms will stop or I can press play so those atoms move around. I suggest keeping it paused. It's going to be easier to grab them. So you can see that I drug that electron from the sodium atom over to the chlorine atom and now it's showing me those ionic charges, those oxidation numbers we've been talking about. And I can then check my compound right it's going to show me my completed compound it says good job all atoms are stable we have completed one compound right and we know that sodium and chlorine are going to bond to in a one-to-one -one ratio we've talked about that plenty of times now now if i were to just to give you a example of something that would not pass the check down here i can add metals i can add non-metals Okay, so let's say I add another metal, excuse me, add another non-metal. I want to drag this over, right? So I have now a plus one sodium ion, a negative one chlorine ion, and I still have this neutral atom of chlorine over here. Sorry for the bell there. I have this neutral chlorine ion over here, or excuse me, atom, and it's showing this in my formula, but if I go to check... Boom, right? It says not all atoms have reached stability. Let's keep on trying. Okay, so I might need to then add in another atom, right? A atom of sodium. So now I have two of these, two of these. I'm still in that one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, I can play it, check it. Boom, we're all good. Moving on to the covalence bond gizmo. Instead of choosing between different metals and non-metals, I just have a different list of molecules or different substances that we are going to be able to play around with, right? Remember that a covalent bond is going to be only between non-metal elements, okay? So everything on this list is going to be on the right-hand side, obviously with the exception of hydrogen. Remember, hydrogen is over in that first group just because it has one valence electron, because that's the only electron it has. So when I'm going through these different molecules, and I like to use water as an example, okay, I can drag these atoms back and forth. Okay, Now you'll see that instead of giving these atoms, or excuse me, giving these electrons to one another, they're actually going to share them. And if I press play here, I can see that this electron and this electron are now orbiting around both of those nuclei that they are being shared between. Okay, so let's pause this. Now, I, again, I can check it, okay? But now it's saying one or more atoms do not have a stable configuration of two or eight electrons. So I need to remember, not only do I want to share electrons from these hydrogen atoms, I also want to share electrons from these oxygen, well, from that one single oxygen atom, okay? And remember, you can press play and press pause to help you get some clarification on which nuclei those electrons are orbiting around, all right? And you can toggle the speed and stuff like that down below, but you can see if it's going this fast, it's not going to be much help, all right? So that should be about it. 
hopefully this helps you guys uh, if you've gotten stuck on one of these parts of the gizmos or something like that. And if you have any other questions, feel free to let me know. All right, guys, we'll see you later.